Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. You guys, I'm scrolling and trolling, minding my business, watching the Kardashians on Hulu. And I get this notification that the Beverly Hills Housewives season 12 reunion dropped. And oh my God, I'm shook. Hi, Lips are going to say, I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm very much so shook. It was really good. But the only thing that I care about is this feud between Lip Serena and Kathy Hilton. You guys know that Kathy Hilton has been engulfed in this scandal where apparently she had a meltdown at the Caribou Club. And it seems as though Lip Serena is trying to expose that, I guess, to make Kathy look bad, but to also have a storyline and to put the spotlight off of her and Erica and put a negative spotlight on her. It is what it is. Do I believe uh, Kathy Hilton had a meltdown. Absolutely. Do I think uh, Lip Serena is really trying to bring this up and make it a prevalent storyline because it's in the best interest of her best friend, uh, Kyle Richards? Absolutely not. I feel like she has a black heart, too. OK, just a whole bunch of women with black hearts. But with that being said, you guys, um, in this trailer, Kathy ate lips up so much. I mean, when I say Kathy ate lips up, like ate, like no crumbs left, like. I gave her a plate filled with food and the plate looked like it was cleaned with uh, Don dish soap. <laughs> like, eight hey, is up. Um, and it kind of seems like, you know, Kathy's publicist has really been putting in the work and working overtime. Um, you could tell that they've been retweeting and reposting a lot of what the fans think on Kathy's social media. And it seems like the publicist has given those talking points to Kathy to eat uh, Lip Serena up at the reunion. And I'm all the way here for it. Um, go ahead and check this out. And you drove Lisa Vanderpump off the show. Ooh. Baby, you wanted it on camera because your contract was coming up. Uh -oh. You are the biggest bully in Hollywood uh -oh. and everyone knows it. My God. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? I can't replay it because y'all know NBC Universal left the flat people channels. But hunty, she says, you're trying to ruin me in the same way you tried to ruin Lisa Vanderpump and my sister Kim Richards and Denise Richards. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. OK, Kathy definitely has been reading the social media tweets because I don't think that lady uh, watched that show. She only know that because her publicist said that and is only regurgitating what her fans are saying on the Twitter. But I love it. I love it. She said, yeah, you're trying to ruin me like how you ran off uh, Lisa Vanderpump. Then she says, uh, what she say after that? Oh, yeah. So she was like, um, yeah, I think you only wanted my meltdown on camera because you knew that your contract was coming up and you needed a storyline. You needed this for a storyline. And I was like, oh, my God, eat her up, Kathy. Get her ass. Finish her. And then um, she tops it off with, girl, you're the biggest bully in Hollywood and everybody knows it. Honey, I am flabbergasted at the situation. Let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. I'm really excited for this reunion. Just a quick update, if you guys care. Herschel Walker, you guys know that he's the biggest hypocrite. He wants to ban abortions, but yet he's funding abortions um, as well. We have recently found out that the lady that accused Herschel Walker of funding her abortion is one of his baby moms. The uh, mother of an existing child that he has. So I guess they had one child and then got an abortion when she got pregnant again. Messy. What I don't really understand about the Republicans is that if your main goal is to take back the Senate and take back the House, why do you guys put these really, really, really terrible, flawed candidates up for these elections? I don't get that. I really don't understand that. Like, if you're trying to win, why do you put forth Herschel Walker for the Republicans and the people in the middle to vote for? Like, that doesn't really make sense. Because I feel like a lot of people with brains, they're going to lean towards Raphael Warnock, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to create a great day.